What's up guys, real quick, we're doing a Whatnot Auction 2 p.m. Eastern on Wednesday and it is full of heavies. I'm gonna show you what we're selling. All of these complete in box SNES games from Soul Blazer, Final Fantasy 2, Breath of Fire 2, Secret of Evermore, Mario RPG with the manual, Adventures of the Link, nice GameCube stuff. There's N64 games over here, Game Boy Pockets, Hobby Shop Ron items, and a holy grail on Super Nintendo, authentic Earthbound cartridge. Come hang with us. It's going to be crazy. I'm imagining there'll be some deals since it's in the afternoon. We're going to have fun. We'll see you at 2 p.m. on Wednesday. All right, now let's get to the video. The most common questions I get asked today is how do I get started selling on Amazon in 2022, 2023, and beyond? Let's talk about it. I've been selling on Amazon since 2012, about 10 years now. Uh, I did Merchant Fulfilled, Fulfilled by Merchant, for about the first five years of that, maybe six years. So what that means is you literally just list the item, you store it at home, you ship it when it sells, just like eBay. The difference is the item has to be in the Amazon catalog, so you search it up, Mario 2 on NES, they've got it, you find it, you list it, you put your condition, you don't even have to include pictures, you can if you want to. And then when it sells, you ship it to the customer. Amazon takes their fees. They're usually a bit higher than eBay's fees. Um, but the reason people love selling on Amazon is because you can often get a little bit more for your items. There's more customers. Uh, they're willing to pay a premium, especially if you do Fulfilled by Amazon. FBA. If you don't know what that is, Fulfillment by Amazon, what that means is that you, a third-party seller, send your stuff off to an Amazon warehouse and People don't know actually about 40% of Amazon's revenue comes from third party sellers. Um, so it's a significant chunk. So you take your game, SmackDown, just bring it on PS2. It's got the barcode on the back. You can scan the barcode, you can manually type it in. You list it, usually using like a third party software. I've used Inventory Lab and Acceler List. I like Acceler List better. I've been using that for about the last year. I have a link down below if that's something you want to get. It's a third-party listing software. It just makes it more efficient, easier, syncs up with Amazon. You send off your batches and, and do that. Print out the uh, the label. You're going to need a Dymo uh, label printer. That's what I use. It's a Label Writer 450, 450 Turbo. Those will print out. The label 30252 is the label size. That covers the barcode. You only want one barcode to be showing when it hits the warehouse. I'll show you what that looks like. So here's an example of a Dragon Ball Z for Wii. I just covered up the barcode, no bag, no nothing. Uh, you can do a big old batch of stuff to send to Amazon to then put in a big box. Uh, down here, right there, that green box, we have a whole bunch of systems and games and stuff inside of that box that's being sent to an Amazon warehouse. When those items get checked in, so Amazon gets them, they get them in receiving, they verify the contents, make sure everything is there. So you're basically just listing it to Amazon. The customers can't see it until Amazon says, yep, we've received everything, it's live, we're gonna open it up to customers. So these things were dispersed across warehouses across the country. Um, could be one warehouse if you're lucky. Uh, I usually send to a warehouse in Chicago just because that's where they like all my stuff to be sent. They check it in, it opens to customers. So say this game sells for $25. When that game sells, when the customer pays, Amazon will pull that from, from the warehouse, ship it out, and I'll get, uh, I'll probably net about 17 bucks on the sale. Uh, so they, they handle customer service, shipping, all that stuff. It cuts my time by like 40% because I don't have to handle any of the back end stuff and I don't have to store it. Those are some of the reasons I love FBA. Um, here's an example of a, of a cartridge game. So cleaned up and poly bagged. I have links to all the clear poly bags that I use. You just gotta have your label on every single thing that you send in. Um, and then once it checks in, Amazon will ship it to customers. But there's a lot more to cover with selling on Amazon. Let's talk about the ungating uh, in certain brands and categories. Before we get into ungating, uh, I just want to encourage you guys, if you've never sold on Amazon and you're kind of overwhelmed by all of it, just start an account, get started. You got to connect your bank account. Um, just follow the steps to starting a seller account on Amazon. It's really not that complicated. 
You don't have to have an LLC. You don't have to have anything special. You as an individual can start selling on Amazon today once you get the account set up. And I recommend getting a couple fulfilled by merchant sales under your belt uh, before sending in your first fulfilled by Amazon FBA shipment. Just to get a little bit of a feel for how the platform works, it's, it's a bit different than eBay. There's a learning curve. The barriers to entry are a bit higher. Uh, but for me, that's what actually enabled me to go full time. That's what changed my business and in turn changed my life. Fulfilled by Amazon really, really enables you to ramp up your business. I mean, we have sellers that are by themselves or have very little help that are doing seven figures in sales and use video games. They're in the Discord. So they're killing it. They're doing super well. They can send in tons and tons and tons of games and Amazon enables uh, the ability to sell all those because you don't have to ship them or store them. Um, so that's FBA, but let's talk about on gating. When you open your account, there's probably going to be a lot of stuff that you cannot sell off the get go. That being said, we have had some people that just started selling on Amazon in our reselling discord. If you want to check that out, links in the description. Um, but they were actually able to sell a lot of different types of video games. Now, ungating can be confusing because on eBay, you can just sell whatever you want, right? Pretty much. Uh, but on Amazon, they they basically want to make sure that the sellers that they have are not selling fakes, that they're reputable sellers, um, that they're going to give the customer a good experience. That's really all Amazon cares about is, is the buyer having a good experience. So to get ungated in certain brands, you might need to get ungated in Nintendo, uh, Microsoft, Sony, PlayStation. Sony and PlayStation are different um, relative to Amazon. Uh, even like overarching categories sometimes like just video games in general or toys in general uh, it can be a lot but what I would say is just start the account uh, take some of the games some of the games or whatever that you have to sell see if they're in the catalog see if it lets you sell them and start with the stuff that you can sell start there and then if you have a lot of ungating questions that's where I definitely recommend you join the, our Discord because uh, we have a, a, an actual ungating chat in there where people have been getting ungated in, in Nintendo, Sony, PlayStation, Microsoft, and sharing the exact strategies. Go in the backlog in the chat, check it out. Um, a lot of the methods to get ungated. There's one that's been working through Kohl's right now, which is kind of unprecedented, um, kind of unique strategies. Uh, you could also start an LLC, get an EIN number, a tax ID number, and then order straight from distributors, meet the invoice requirements for certain brands to get ungated. And there's good distributors like Entertainment Earth uh, often works. Um, there's there's some other ones where, you know, if you can't get it figured out from the Coles method or from some of the other methods, then you might have to go in that method. But don't let the ungating thing keep you from starting on Amazon because you can sell a lot right out the gate. You can sell all books. You can sell a lot of video games. Um, and then, you know, we've had people be able to get ungated very, very quickly in some key brands like Nintendo. Uh, so I definitely recommend starting as, as quickly as possible because it could change your business. It could change your life. It did for me. And we, we do have videos on this channel talking about how to pack up video game systems. That's one of our biggest areas of sales on Amazon. Um, we can talk about the used buy box. So the buy box is where if you hit add to cart on Amazon, it adds that one to the buy box. Some buyers do this. That may be hard for you to understand. Um, but some buyers just go on to Amazon. They want the convenient add to cart. They don't want to look into the pricing information. They don't want to look into anything. They just want to know that they can buy it quick, convenient, easy returns. Um, and it's going to, it's going to happen. So, once you become buy box eligible, that becomes a game changer, especially for systems and otherwise. Packing up systems, so we do them in a box. You can do them in, a, in various different ways. You need a, this is a set sticker. We have a link to those below on your box. You pack it up. You can use a little bubble wrap, a little craft paper, but you just take your, you know, if it's a Nintendo 64 controller and cords, put it in a box. We use a 12 by eight by six cardboard box, link to those as well. Um, and then just tape it up, put our, this is a set sticker, print our label, our SKU label from Exceller list, put that on the box. And then we might add like seven of those to a batch, preview the batch, 
Amazon says, okay, you can send all these to this warehouse in Chicago. We say, sure. The box has got to be under 50 pounds for them to take it. So we make sure it's under 50 pounds, pack it up, enter the dimensions, uh, enter the weight. And the cool thing about Amazon is they have very, very cheap partnered rates with UPS. So a 45 pound box to multiple states over might cost like $8 to ship, which is insane. So like shipping all those N64s, it's very cheap. Or you could have 250 games in one box that's under 50 pounds and it'll be like eight bucks to ship, 10 bucks to ship, you know, sometimes 12 if it's, if it's going across the country. But that part's amazing. Shipping costs stays very, very low for you on a per unit basis where you have to factor this in to other platforms when something sells or when you sell something merchant fulfilled. Um, so yeah, we've got videos on how to pack up systems that can be a little bit daunting, but there's a lot of ways to do it. And you can check out those videos on this channel. Um, uh, I think they just, one of them just came out. So check out the video. We might put it at the end of this one so you guys can find it easily. That's kind of a lot of the basics of selling on Amazon. The keys just get started, link your bank account. You don't need an LLC. You can use your social security number. Um, start by selling something merchant fulfilled, just listing it and shipping it off when the customer buys it. Then consider doing FBA, use Acceler List, the software. Check out my link for that if you want um, to list with FBA. Send off your first shipment with stuff that you're allowed to ship. Get some experience. Then consider joining the Discord to learn about ungating and various brands and categories. Um, with, with all the methods like with Nintendo, um, Sony, PlayStation, stuff like that. Um, get ungated and then continue sending more stuff to Amazon. Learn the platform. It's very well worth it. I'd be happy to make one of these videos in more detail. Hopefully that covered some of the basics for you guys. If you're, if you're looking to get started on Amazon, I know a lot of you may be. Um, this will answer a lot of those questions. Uh, start the process. If you have questions along the way, ask them in the comments, join the Discord, ask further questions in detail. I'll help you. Sky Guy will and a lot of other great sellers in the Discord are happy to help. We've got a great community. We'd love to have you in the Discord if you're willing to put in the work, if you want to get started on Amazon, selling used video games or otherwise. Hit the like button, subscribe if you made it this far. We'll see you guys next time. Bartle do.